Malta Massey, bringing you the latest happenings in dancehall and reggae music. Welcome, it's Malta Massey, and here are the stories making the cut for today. Every single woman get that feeling that when she's alone at night, like she would have fuck a girl man, even if it's just for the night. And even when rain a fall and nature start to rise So she make one phone call so she want me to fix things right Cause she in a given mood, given mood She won't give it to me all night there's just something about Real Vi's voice that just calms your energy. No bugger auto tunes. He's just a wonderful singer. This track is called Giving Mood. It's a dancehall song that I'm pretty sure many people can relate to. Both the music video and the lyrics are not overly explicit, and that's a plus. Real VI has his own approach to doing music. He sings about various topics and he doesn't box himself in. He has another song coming out in July called Gallis Black Book. Yes, we got one more girl in my black book. One more not in my bell check. New girl coming on my own in steam. No, she have to drop in on my bed, yes. How oh, many name in that black book there, real VI? Anyways, Big Up Music UK and Earth Source Records. Click the link below to listen to Giving Mood. Check him out on Instagram at realv.i. Make him know say a motor massisenio. You should be making your decisions now about getting your precautionary stocks of goods. Food, water, batteries, candles, having your critical and essential documents properly secured. If you have trees that could be a threat to your house, your residents take action to prevent that. It is always in your best interest to be prepared. Uh, if, the, if the weather event passes and there is no impact, you would have lost nothing. But you would not want an impact to occur and you did not prepare for it. Spice recently had a launch party for her latest track called Round and Round featuring Buster Rhymes. During the launch party, she went live and she made this statement. Check it out. Real quick, we just reached at the event. We're in Atlanta and the single is out. I know I've been super busy. I haven't even had a chance to really come and talk to you guys. But I know the single is new, I know it's different, but guess what best is? I'm not perfect, I don't know what I'm doing, but one thing I'm going to do, I am not afraid to step out and be different and to try, and we are going to make it work, regardless. Because you've never heard a real hardcore dancehall mixed with country and mixed with hip-hop. And I've had this song for like a year now, it's not no... Ooh, because I know nobody or whatever. It's just what the rhythm told me to say. I know that people laughing when I say, hee ha! But that's what I heard when I heard the rhythm. It gave me that country western vibe. Now, a team member for this artist who goes by the name of Capri 100 Mill sent in this video where he's claiming that he did the dance hall with the country vibes long before Spice did. I am not afraid to step out and be different and to try and we are going to make it work regardless because you've never heard a real hardcore dancehall mixed with country and mixed with hip hop. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. How, wait, first of all, you're not going to speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. And I've had this song for like a year now. It's not no, ooh, because I know nobody or whatever. It's just what the rhythm told me to say. Now, when I uploaded that video to my Instagram, Red Rat reached out in my DM to point out that he did a song 15 years ago with the same name Round and Round with the same cowboy concept. Red Rat also pointed out that both songs have the same melody. In his words, great artists think alike. 
Now, when I was listening to the Red Rat song, my memory jogged even further because on that same rhythm, we have Elephant Man with Jokyal. Furthermore, Elephant Man had a remix to Jokyal featuring Twister, Young Bloods, and Hip Rich. It had the same cowboy concept, it was a mixture of dancehall and hip hop artists. Furthermore, some persons were saying that Buster Rhymes on Round and Round is more dancehall than rap. But, anyways, Massive, what are your thoughts? Who on a thing did it first? Elephant Man? Red Rat, Capri 100 Mill, or Spice? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. This TikToker who goes by the name Don Blama 876 uploaded a video and trust me, he's very upset about the message that some TikTokers are spreading to the youths. Check this out. Why you the vice? No, I want Dan. Yo, someone want to bum buckle up. Tibo one. Who not to come down off a TikTok now, you know? You understand? I'll be a f I'm so not a teacher, you them in a dark. I don't understand, say, you are way the youth, them are idolizing them, dog. You youth, them, we are live a lifestyle where look pleasing to the little youth, them. You understand, because every youth want to live a piece of life right now, you see? Brother, you're not going to suck on your mother deeply with no fuck them. You're not going to chin from blood clot, tick that could make every little youth around with right now. All this beast can skate from the and the house and think, hey, go suck on the mother and come down with that. Brother, you know, if you make the thing, them seems like a joke because them things they are f***ing. Them things there is no knowledge to the youth, them. But you know, make it look so serious like a real thing. Or what do you mean, I watch an interview on, on a dog so serious, say if him get $30 million now, he might go drop it on a blood clot, GLE. How the f*** is that? Like real thing. Remember say interview on them thing the last forever and them thing there in my dog. Pick me pan, pick me a group and come watch them thing there, hear them thing there. Them thing there is non fucking sense. Our day me a take in an interview with Bob Marley do for me a little boy. I mean Bob Marley say yo. I'm gonna ask Bob Marley, yo, say yo, something about richness. I when me Bob Marley say yo, what you call richness? My richness is fucking life. You know if, yo, you know if I'm wearing that for me a pitney. Another interview that touch me. Like it thing touch me, a f my dog. I mean I say look on them thing there. Brother, positivity go a far away, my dog. Una stop f up you them brain with the f them. Una make them look like joke then, my dog. Because yes, it's okay for your fun. But when time una make you look a f them seems like a real thing. You them I believe. You see this dunce thing need to stop and go suck on the mother and tell the youth them to be bright now. You get a drink because right now every youth want to be dunce. I see you throw this dunce thing and take over. It's like youth them not pre realness again. I be a f it. You understand? Only if you come down with enough f them dog and teach the youth them the right thing. Hey, you f***y boy Jaden. Hey, I call people near me, brother. But now do some f***y dog. Just the attention and views. I'm going to speak some positive thing and go suck on the mother. And come down. You understand? And me not try to pick for you because everybody a pick for you. They are gonna do some f it. You understand? I'm youth, humble. I'm gonna hurt my youth. I control my come control TikTok and teach you them and go suck on the mother. And come down with enough f them, my dog. And teach you them positive. Or them f boy, yeah, man. In this video, we are building and giving away 100 houses. And each home is going to change a family's life. Like this family, who didn't have a house to call their own. And they have no idea we just built them one. Take off your blindfolds and turn around. Behind you is your brand new home. <laughs> Oh, I was not expecting that reaction. Mr. Beast uploaded a video where he gave away 100 homes. And out of those 100 homes, he gave away 20 out of them to Jamaican families. Trust me, I love this. It's a good look. Pick up yourself, Mr. Beast. And thank you. Me know it's enough Jamaicans that say thank you right now. Me also some people that said Mr. Beast for prime minister. <laughs> Jamaicans not easy at all. Come July 6, 2024, residents of Portmore will pay roughly $172,800 per year to travel through the toll twice per day for a class one vehicle. And of course, as the new vehicle get bigger, on a dunno, it's more money. So the Portmore people are saying, yo, something needs to be done about these increased prices for the toll. 
Music by dancehall entertainers Idonia and Lali is featured on the soundtrack of the new Netflix series Supercell. The six-part British series was premiered on Netflix on June 27, includes Idonia's 2017 hit Yeah Yeah and Lali's 2002 track Bing Bong, featuring South London rapper Cristal. Both songs are featured in season one, episode one of the series, which follows a group of black individuals with superpowers. The series is written and directed by Andrew Onwubolu, better known by his stage name, Rapman. It's a good look, big up on herself, Lali and Idonia. So that's it for today, Massive Montana. Big up on a nice, clean self. Enough love, enough respect. Blessings upon blessings upon blessings. Positive vibrations going out to the Massive. I'm out of Massey, Magan. Mount Massey. Mount Massey. Covering the latest in Jamaican music and culture. Like, share, comment, and subscribe now. now. now.